Hey everyone, this is Perry and this was my trip to Japan this summer. We arrived and went to my mother-in-law's house, which is a great thing to have somebody you can stay with in Japan. So you don't have to get a hotel or stay in an Airbnb. The good thing about the jet lag is it's very easy to wake up super early before sunrise and go on a run. And they have this nice forest park not far from our house where I can go running. And then a lot of the time in Japan I spend just walking miles and miles and checking out the houses and people. Not long after arriving, I took a trip to Kawasaki to meet a friend I met many years ago through language exchange named T-Bear. Hi, I am T-Bear. <laughs> we went to this place to get some ramen, but turned out they served soba instead of ramen noodles, and I didn't want that, so this is the next place we went to. The ramen was delicious. It had this little egg, which was a quail egg, which I've never had before. It wasn't exactly for me, but if you get ramen, make sure you get a big normal egg in there. Delicious. Now, I was born in South Carolina and I'm used to extreme heat, but it's funny how we adapt to wherever we live and we have fully adapted to the weather in San Diego, so the heat was rough in Japan. I spotted this cute K car. There's tons of these to check out all over the place. We went to go get Jake a local haircut. And he's looking pretty sharp. Finally, it was time to take the taxi to Haneda Airport. We were doing a family trip to Shikoku. Flying within Japan is pretty much a breeze. As long as you got a ticket, they don't even bother with your ID. Shikoku is the smallest of the four main islands of Japan. It's got the beautiful Seto Inland Sea with beautiful islands there and bridges. It's a place I've wanted to go for a long time. We got our rental car and one of the first places we headed to was Takamatsu Castle. These fish are not the typical koi fish you find in ponds, but they're actually fish from the ocean, since this castle connects directly to the ocean. One thing Shikoku is very famous for is their udon, so we made sure to try that out. Then we enjoyed walking around in this, what they call arcade, it's basically just a covered shopping area. And these are pretty cool to walk around. 
The next morning we woke up and drove to Tokushima where I spotted this ship being built. And then we got on a scenic ship to go see the Naruto Whirlpools. The Naruto Whirlpools are tidal whirlpools that occur in the Naruto Strait. So this strait here has a width of about 0.8 miles or 1.3 kilometers and its connection between the Pacific Island and the Inland Sea. So a huge amount of water flows into and out of the Inland Sea twice a day. And because of how narrow the strait is, you get water speeds of 8 to 9 miles per hour or 13 to 15 kilometers per hour four times a day. You would not want to be caught trying to swim through that. I won't. It was really interesting to watch ships try and fight the current to get back in. We had dinner in a family restaurant and I spotted this little surfing robot rolling around. Next, we drove into the heart of Shikoku, which is mountainous, by going up along the Yoshino River. From the road, I spotted these cool little fishing boats. Most of them did look like they got some use. I tried to find a more traditional boats, but there wasn't much. I only spotted this old one on display, which is a rotting wood version of the fiberglass ones you just saw. This is in an area called the Udatsu Townscape. And Julie and I went and explored, but unfortunately around this time, Jake was coming down with a bit of fever and he was sick for the next couple days. But we made our way on to Kochi, which is down on the south side of the island and enjoyed this indoor dining area with a lot of unique little shops in it. They have a specialty there where they throw this kind of hay into a fire and flame grill the fish. The next morning I went for a run and bought a couple of boats in this canal, but they didn't look like they got used much at all. And that pretty much sums up the Shikoku trip. Tough to get down here. Around this time my phone completely died and it was the last footage I got in Japan until I got back and bought a new phone. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I am already back in the garage working on something really cool and I will get the next video out to you as fast as I can. And if you want to give me extra motivation, please do me a favor and hit the like button. I hear it really helps out with the algorithm. Alright guys, I will see you again very soon. Well, now let's make our preparations for getting underway. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, we get back to your station. I'll have you shot in the air. Well, shoot some.